In this video, we're going to discuss the price elasticity of demand. So price elasticity of demand is basically just a fraction. It's just a ratio that tells us how responsive that customers or people demanding a good are to a change in the price of that good or service. So for example, let's say that we're talking about ice cream. And I were to tell you that, okay, look, if there was a 10% decrease, if there was a 10% decrease in the price of ice cream, then people would increase the quantity that they are demanding of ice cream by 50%. So then what you do is you just take the 50% divided by the 10%. And you, you ignore the fact that this is negative. It doesn't matter. We know that if price goes up, demand is going to go down and conversely, right? So you ignore the sign. You just say 50% divided by 10 and you say, okay, you've got five. Now, you might be thinking, okay, what does this number tell us? What do we care? Well, we can say that a number greater than one, we would say is, is very elastic demand. And that means that if it's greater than one, that consumers are really responsive. They're really responsive to a change in the price of the good. If, they, if there's a decrease in the price, they're really going to increase the quantity demanded. If it's inelastic, so if it, if it is less than one, for example, inelastic, that means that customers aren't as responsive. Maybe it's something like a gallon of milk and they say, you know, I really, really need milk. So, you know, even if the price goes up, I'm not going to change how much I demand and so forth, right? And so the nice thing about price elasticity of demand is that it's a units free measure so if we're thinking about we, we don't have to think about like let's say uh, if ice cream was measured in dollars and we're if you're trying to think about it in terms of slope but if we said well let's instead measure ice cream in cents right in cents instead of dollars well then that would change the slope and so we don't want these issues of well what me what unit did we measure this in how was it comparable this one was measured in dollars this one was measured in cents so this is not slope it's not measured in any kind of unit. It's just a unit free measure. We just take the ratio of these two percentages and then that tells us whether how, how elastic the demand is for this good. So let me give you a more, little more complicated example to show you how you calculate this in a real world example. So let's say that you run a movie theater and the current price of a ticket is $9 and at that price people want to buy 20,000 movie tickets but you're you're considering a price change you're wanting to know what would happen if I increase the price by two dollars and and let's say you talk to somebody and uh, that really knows the movie theater in industry and they say look if you increase the price to eleven dollars which is that two dollar increase then that is going to decrease the amount of tickets that are demanded to fifteen thousand dollars or fifteen thousand tickets so you're going to have a decrease. So an increase of $2 is going to lead to a decrease of 5,000 tickets. So now you want to know, okay, how is this, how is this going to affect business and so forth? So you could just, you could just look and say, okay, $9 times 20,000. You originally had 180,000 in sales. And now you've got 11 times 15,000 and you've got 165,000 in sales. So you might even be thinking, hey, I increased the price by $2 and yet somehow, somehow my sales ended up going down. And so let's just say you're thinking about all these things and you say, hey, let me try and calculate the price elasticity of demand. So to calculate the price elasticity of demand, I, I know we already talked about the, the ratio, but it's a little bit more complicated than, because not always are you just going to be told what is the percentage of change in uh, quantity demanded or the percentage of change in price. If I just tell you those things, then it's, it's pretty straightforward to calculate. But here we've got to use these numbers. We've got to use these numbers to figure it out. So the percentage change in quantity demanded, the way that we calculate that, and let me, let me make sure I do the color. So I'm going to make this, these colors blue for the numerator. So the percentage change in quantity demanded, we're going to have our change in quantity, our change in quantity divided by the average quantity. I'm going to explain what that means. So this is that, so if we go to change in quantity, 20,000 minus 15,000. That was our change in quantity. Okay. Now we divide that by the average quantity during the period. The average is just 20,000 plus 15,000 divided by 2. So that gives us 17,500 in our denominator, 5,000 in the numerator. 
we get that, that would be 0.286 rounded, multiply it by 100, so we convert it to a percentage, we would have 28.6% is our percent change in quantity demanded. So I'm just going to put 28.6% here. Okay, before in that example that I gave you with the ice cream, I just told you this number, but that's how you would calculate it from, from real numbers. Now we've got to calculate the denominator, this percentage change in price. So it's the same idea. It's the same idea. We take the change in price divided by the average price. So the change in price, we say, okay, well, this is 9 and 11, so we'd say it was 11 minus 9 divided by, and the average price is we just take the original price of $9 plus the new price of 11, so it's 11 plus 9, and then we divide that by 2. That's our average price. So this will give us 2 over, and then this is 20 divided by 2 is 10, so 2 over 10, which is equal to 0 0.2, which if we multiply that by 100 to get a percentage, we'd have 20%. So that means that our denominator, the percentage change in price, is 20%. So now, if we want to know our price elasticity of demand for this movie ticket uh, $2 price increase, we would say that's 28.6 divided by 20%. So I'm just going to take that's, that's our, and I'm going to call it price elasticity of demand, P-E-O-D, 28.6% divided by 20% and rounded, I'm, I'm rounding this all, that comes to 1.43. Now remember, we had said that if the number was greater than one, so w which 1.43 is, right? that's greater than one, so we would say that demand for these movie tickets, at least within this price range, when we're talking about a change of $9 to $11, we would say that the demand is relatively elastic, which means that the consumers, these movie uh, movie consumers here, our customer base, is very responsive to a change in the price.